Two strategic Tu-22M3 bombers at once have been damaged in the explosion at the Olenya military airbase in Murmansk Oblast, Russia. Andriy Yusov, representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, said this in a commentary for Radio Liberty. This is about the explosion above the location of the aircraft. Moreover, I can confirm that two Tu-22M3s were damaged. There are corresponding tail numbers, tail number 33 and tail number 31. There are holes in the upper part of the fuselage of the tail number 33, and tail number 31 was also damaged, he said. Yusov stated that it may take the Russians several months to repair these aircraft, and the air raid warning was not issued at the airbase during the attack. Yusov also specified the date and time of the incident. Earlier, it was reported that the attack on the Engels airfield in Saratov Oblast the Diaghilevo airfield in Ryazan Oblast and the Olenya military airfield in Murmansk Oblast was launched at night and on the morning of the 27th of July 2024. As for the date, we can say this occurred on the 25th of July. The information was communicated later after additional verification. Indeed, on the 25th of July at about 1547, a similar strike was documented, Yusov said. On the morning of the 30th of July, the Russian Service of Radio Liberty published satellite images which, as journalists put it, indicate the absence of traces of a Ukrainian strike on the strategic aircraft airbase. Yusov stressed that satellite images are not the only source of information to be taken into account. It should be noted that satellite images are undoubtedly a very important source of information, but the nature of damage and aftermath are different, and this is certainly not the only source of information to rely on. However, the information was confirmed by different sources, and we can safely say that such an incident indeed occurred. Yusov stressed. The commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, said that Ukraine has a realistic plan for the return of Crimea. However, for obvious reasons, the military commander cannot give the details. Retired British colonel Hamish Stephen de Breton Gordon told the 24 Channel that he agreed with the opinion of the Ukrainian lieutenant general. According to him, Ukraine can really deoccupy the peninsula and this will be the end for Putin. The naval forces destroyed the Russian Black Sea Fleet, which was defending Crimea. Ukraine is gaining more and more control over the air, taking into account the new air defense systems and the arrival of the F-16 aircraft in the near future. If Ukraine gains air control over Crimea, this will allow ground forces tanks, armored personnel carriers, to have the freedom of maneuver to liberate the occupied peninsula. I believe that Crimea is definitely within Ukraine's reach in the next few months. Discussion of this is useful because Putin knows that if he loses Crimea, it will be the end for him, the retired British colonel said. Then, in his opinion, a peaceful settlement can be achieved earlier. Therefore, Crimea is definitely in the field of view of the generals in Kyiv and there is a very real opportunity to return it. What can be the deoccupation of the peninsula? Hamish Stephen de Breton Gordon noted that the liberation of Crimea is likely to occur in a combination of land and sea operations, increased pressure on the Russians and long-range strikes. Ukraine apparently would like to return Crimea with the least losses, but this will be a big challenge, said the retired British colonel. Ukraine controls the Black Sea and gets more air control, it becomes quite possible. He is sure that Ukraine wants to return Crimea with the least damage to its troops. That's real. I could not say it six to 12 months ago, the expert stressed.